This is a demonstration of the dehydrating properties of concentrated sulfuric acid on its reaction with sugar. And here we're using normal table sugar, so sucrose. In the setup, we've shown three boiling tubes partially filled with sucrose that we have either wet or left dry. As you'll see from the experiment, using dampened sugar is the best approach. And even using dampened sugar, I would demonstrate this with two or three tubes clamped because the time in which they go off seems to be very variable. You need to be aware that sulfur dioxide is produced in this reaction, so don't have your asthmatic sat near the front. In fact, your local regulations may require you to do this in a fume cupboard. Doing it in a beaker is also possible, but your technicians won't love you for this. The dehydration is a property of concentrated sulfuric acid. You could demonstrate that 2 molar sulfuric acid doesn't have a dehydrating effect. It doesn't remove the elements of water from the sucrose. In disposing of the sugar carbon, you need to be aware that it can still contain sulfuric acid. So the best thing to do is to put the sugar carbon and the boiling tube carefully into a bucket of water and leave overnight. Once the sulfuric acid has leached out of the sugar carbon, it can be put into the waste bin. Your technicians will probably put, end up putting the boiling tubes into the glass bin. The upside of this experiment is there is a lovely smell of caramelised sugar produced.